Hello everyone. Um, so in the last video, uh, we upgraded this uh, Mac Pro. Um, upgrades were a uh, HD 5770 graphics card alongside a GT 120, and uh, works just fine. And uh, we, yeah, we installed a. Uh, 512 gig SSD and a 640 gig for video storage and video editing and uh, we basically we uh, upgraded it to uh, a nice potential so this is the second uh, trial at filming this video um, unfortunately what happened was the Mac Pro locked up right at the end of the install and uh, I had a bit of faith so I uh, turned the Mac Pro off, unplugged the uh, USB stick, and restarted it in OS. Um, it's kind of sad. Usually it works, but um, we're going to go for this again. So uh, let's hit the power button. And start mashing the option key. Sorry, the uh, adapter for the cinema display is hanging out, so I just plugged it back in. That happened. So, uh, nothing else to boot off of, so let's go ahead and start off that. First time ever using a numerical keypad to uh, hit the return button on something like that. So, this takes quite a while to boot into, so I'm going to continue uh, filming when it's uh, in the installer. As the fans and everything ramp up to full speed, and I bump the tripod. Alright, so I managed to get through a uh, 10,000 subscriber video from its financial color um, in the time it took to boot up. So, um, yeah. Um, very nice video on his part. Love the editing and stuff. Um, pretty nice music in that one. Anyway, uh, let's get on topic. So let's go to Disk Utility. I want to just erase everything on those uh, partitions and everything. So, um, we're just going to re redo all the drives, same thing with video editing drive and stuff. So, um, let's zoom in on Disk Utility. So, uh, Disk Utility has a new look. Um, I'm not so fond of the partition partitioning method, so we'll see that. So we're just going to erase that drive, call it untitled for now. So let's go up to the SSD again. and. Add a partition. I'm not liking this. Not liking how this works. So uh, let's add another partition and um, put this at 128 gigs. And uh, we're going to call this uh, boot underscore par, and that means boot partition. And then the uh, larger one we're going to call uh, store power, which is just storage partition, just a clever name, you know. So uh, 128 gig boot partition and uh, 371 point, you, know, you get what I'm saying, uh, boot partition, or uh, storage partition. Apply. Alright, so we can see um, storage partition and boot partition. Uh, let's go into here and erase that. And we're going to call that VSD 
dash one video storage drive one. Um, I'll probably have some kind of server storage drive as well for video footage on the XServe. Don't know if I've shown you guys that. The XServe. I have an XServe. Pretty nice machine. So uh, we're going to quit Disk Utility and uh, install OS X. Continue. Agree. Agree. Um, sorry. Anyway. Boot partition. Install. There we go. Oh, and there's that friggin' rainbow wheel of death. That is, uh, that's a disgrace. Yeah, I just said that. OS 10.10 10 and up, and iOS 7 and up is a disgrace. Anyway. I'm gonna continue the video. Um, when something happens, when it finishes the install, and hopefully everything goes right this time, because I don't want to do this again, and I don't want to do anything like taking apart the MacBook Pro and installing 10.10 off the recovery partition, and then upgrading to 10.11, and blah, 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 I just hate when stuff doesn't work. Anyway, um, that was weird. Just goes to show how I am when I'm tired, but, um, yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's, um, well, you guys, that was part of the other take, but I, I opened up a lollipop that I got from Halloween. I've been eating that, so maybe I'm just on sugar, you know? Anyway, uh, I'll see you when something happens. About a second remaining. Yeah, let's let it hang here for a long time. Overnight, perhaps? And see where it's at. Because um, this is where it stopped last time I tried to install. And if that doesn't work, I have an excellent idea. But it should work. I'm really pissed off and tired right now. And I don't want to have to put my MacBook Pro in target disk mode and then boot off the Mac Pro off of it, blah, 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 because I won't have a device to use, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> anyway. Well, it did something. I just had to let it wait. It was listening to some, uh... What is it? Ballad of the Cats. But, um, anyway. Um, doing something. It's booting into something now. Just had to let it wait. And it's taking an awful long time. Probably because it's the first boot. Alright, so, um, I'll continue the video when something does happen. Alright, so, um, it's not stuck anymore. Um, what does that say? Installing, about 19 minutes remaining. This is quite interesting. I've never seen OS X do this. Must be something new to El Capitan. But I'm just gonna wait it out. Um, Okay, that's very interesting, but, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, based on how long this seems to be taking, I might, uh, consider, uh, installing OS X El Capitan on a hard drive and then cloning that to a, um, to my mass storage thing, or my, uh, archive disk. And then installing off the archive disk 
just whenever I need it in El Capitan thing. And I'm definitely going to be upgrading uh, MacBook Pro down there to uh, El Capitan soon. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of on an IMNC binge. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, almost there. Just waiting for the graphics drivers to load. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So let's zoom way out. And uh, move the tripod inward towards the display. He's going to start talking to us. Mac OS 10, something like that at least. United States, US keyboard, uh, let's go there, that's our uh, Wi-Fi network, so um, Yeah, I'll do that later. I don't like that. Um, Alright, so this gets into like my name and address. So I'm gonna continue uh, filming when we get to the when we like get dropped off at the desktop, so so we are at the desktop and uh, I'm gonna eject my El Capitan disc. And um, hard disks and connected servers. Let's go up to view, show view options. Put that there. Icon size, let's move the icon size way down and move that over to like right there. And then system preferences, general. Use the dark menu bar and stuff. All right, that's sorted. So, um, that was quite an adventure. I have El Capitan running on here, so let's open this up. About this Mac. OS 10 El Capitan version 10, 11, 1. Mac Pro early 2009, uh, 2 point, or, uh, dual 3.2 quad, or 3.2 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeons for a total of 8 cores, 16 gigs of 1066 megahertz ECC DDR3, startup disk is boot partition and graphics ATI Radeon HD5770 and the GT6, no, uh, GT6, no, GT120. Uh, let's go to displays. No, let's go back. Let's go to system report. If we go into graphics and we go into system preferences and accessibility and zoom, and we turn on zoom and we turn on that and then we do that and then we uh, do that and then we do that and then we do that and then we quit that and then we zoom in there and there we go. You can see ATI Radeon HD 5770 and NVIDIA GeForce GT 120. So no display is connected to that yet, but um, that'll be our KVM display, no doubt. So we're in slot three or physical slot four. Um, so let's quit that. Quite like this mouse. Sensitivity is a bit low, but we can change that in the operating system. Well, it's getting tired. So um, thanks for watching. Um, next video. Um, let's
Let's see, I want to do this next video. We're going to be installing the OS X Snow Leopard on the iMac that's sitting behind us. Um, so I guess uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in that video. Um, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, I'm definitely going to not use this iMac anymore for a while. I'll turn it on every now and then. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the uh, OS 10.6 install video.